I'd like to ask about is you have two tests that I haven't seen anywhere else, which is looking at antioxidant levels, mm -hmm. um, like TAC and, and ROM. Um, yeah. Could you could you introduce those and uh, yeah, like how they work and, and what uh, what we should be aiming for? Sure. Um, the TAC is the uh, what I call the total antioxidant capacity. Mm. And you know you can you can measure the individual antioxidants. There are many tests, you know, vitamin C, vitamin E, and glutathione. I mean, what 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 is uh, mm. molecules, right? And I believe that they are individually important, but we we cannot afford to measure every uh, every single mm. one. And it's too expensive, and and also if you only measure one and not the other. You still don't have an overall assessment of your antioxidant level. So that's why we use uh, we use the test that can evaluate how much antioxidant capacity you have. I mean, what's your level uh, to fight mm -hmm. against oxidants? You know, I, I don't think we really want to get into the, the biochemistry because it's mm -hmm. very, very complicated. And the bottom line is you want to know whether you have enough anti, total antioxidants mm. uh, to fight against the free radicals or mm. oxidants. And we measure that with a test called uh, uh, ROM, or, or you can call it ROM and ROS, they are all the same. Reactive ah, okay. oxygen metabolite, or most people call it uh, reactive oxygen species. Um, and they, they, are, they, are, they are basically the same. Again, we, with RAM, we measure the overall uh, level of oxidants or the total level of free radicals. So you can gain, a, uh, and you, you can have an overall um, view of where your oxidative stress level is. It's a surrogate. Uh, uh, marker. There, are, there are many different ways to do it, and like a T bar, you can you know imagine uh, many of the antioxidant enzymes like catenates, uh, and you know there are so many things you can measure. So we, I personally prefer what's my overall level, and that do do I am I overstressed in terms of uh, you know free radicals, and that's mm. what the norm test can can give you, and that has been studied. Uh, very extensively, and you know, we analyze you know, over 10,000 uh, uh, subjects in our laboratory. And we have demonstrated, you know, uh, the association with many diseases and also uh, how it's related to uh, survival in cancer patients and so on. So we know the, the test has a lot of you know, medical uh, information and it's very uh, useful. Mm. Right. So, so let so just to make sure my, my my understanding. So, TAC is telling me my total capacity, and ROM is telling me, uh, like how much, what how how many how much free, how much free, free radicals you, you how you many have. free radicals I have. Yeah. Right. So I want TAC to be high and ROM to be low. Basically. That's right. I mean, yeah. actually, you, you these two the ratio of the two is actually uh, important, and mm. well, that we don't really understand. And there seems to be some kind of coordination that, uh, you know, if you if your if your oxidative the ROM never snow, your antioxidant never can be a neutron the world, that may not be a, a big problem. And sometimes these two can be totally out of whack. And we have seen that again and again. Interesting. Okay, thank you. I hope that you found the video informative. Professor Sher is very generous to offer a 10% discount code to our audience for all the tests. Please find the discount code and details in the description. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon. <music>